Hello, welcome to my channel, Crafting with Lee Marie. I'm so glad you are here today with me for this unboxing. So I have a Diamond Art Club unboxing. This one just came in the mail a few days ago. Um, and so if you look at the box, you can tell that this is a square one. It's got the pretty kind of shimmery cover. Um, and you can tell with the blue line that this is a square. I love the fact that on the outside of the boxes, you can tell whether it's a square or round just by the color and the symbol right here. It makes it really easy when you are in your um, stash trying to find your items. And so here we have our kit contents and how it works in case you haven't diamond painted before. Um, and then the kit that I am showing you guys today is called Quiet Cove. And so this is a Chuck Pinson. I saw this one and I fell in love with it. I just had to have it. And so he does a lot of beautiful work, a lot of um, brand new, like not brand new, but um, a lot of really pretty landscapes. Um, it is a brand new painting. It was just released, not this last week, but the week before last. But they did, I believe, have an issue getting it in. And so we had to wait for it to ship out until the end of the week, which is why I only just got it a few days ago. This one on the website sells for $54.99. It is a 22 by 30 centimeters, or I'm sorry, 22 inches by 30 inches. And it's a 76 centimeter by 56 centimeters. So this one is a big one. It is square. It has 55 colors. And so Chuck Pinson, he has so much detail in his work. They have to be quite large to be able to see um, the diamond paintings. And because of all the details, you tend to get a lot of colors. I know I am working on one right now that is a Chuck Pinson by Dreamer Designs. And that one also has 55 colors. This one also has two AB drills. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Um, a lot of people haven't seen, unless they bought them, they haven't seen these kits in person because they didn't have any releases of these ones. Um, they didn't have any uh, people showcasing these um, like they usually do. Um, I'm not sure why. I am not popular enough to get freebies, so, but I watch other YouTube channels and they tend to do early release videos. Um, and so you can see that there's 55 colors. Um, the symbols look pretty good. I could see having issues with 27 and 28 just because they're very similar in color and the symbol is almost exactly the same. It's just on the other side of the square. So hopefully those two aren't right next to each other and we won't have any issues. So this whole sheet right here is a sticker. And so you're able to use these in, when you kit up if you'd like. Um, I stick them on my baggies for my extra drills that don't fit in my storage container. The other thing you got, I got in here was this cute sticker. And so it says you can use it to organize your stash kits, place it in your logbook or anywhere you'd like. I've never actually gotten one of these before. So this is kind of cool. I'm kind of excited to get a little sticker. I don't know where I'll use it, but that's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna set those aside. And then the toolkit. It says it has your magic applicator, your comfort grip, wax pad, craft tray, multi-placer, and tweezers. Um, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and check this because the last one I got did not have a multi-placer tool. So this one does have the multi-placer tool. It's got baggies, the wax, the squishy, and the pen. I don't tend to use those pens anymore because they hurt my hands. Um, I've bought, an, I've bought nicer pens at this point. Um, one thing which I've mentioned in a previous video, these tweezers have a cap on them. You're gonna wanna keep that cap on there when you're not using them because they are very sharp. 
Um, you do not want your children or pets or even your spouse not knowing what they are to get poked by them. It will hurt. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. Now you can see that this canvas is wrapped with the picture on the outside. So I'm actually going to wrap it the other way real quick. As soon as I figure out how to open the bag, this bag's a little tricky. Okay. So I've got all of these drills. Whoa, did you hear that? That was like dropping a brick, a brick of drills. They should make like drill bricks for houses. It'd be the sparkliest house ever. Okay, I'm almost done rolling it. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna show you guys the canvas and we're gonna take a look. Oh wow, look at that. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So it has a little picture down here at the bottom showing the size and that it is by Chuck Pinson. Um, and you've got your key on both sides. So you can see it no matter which way you're working on it. Um, and so you can see there's like a fish jumping out of the water here. Some ducks with their little babies. Got some geese over here. The rocks and the houses. Beautiful. I just love this. Um, so shimmery. So let's see here. I'm going to assume, let me look, kind of see if I can see in the drills here, that the top two, I can see a white drill. I'm going to assume that the top two on my key are my AB drills. And so you're going to see the AB number one in the flowers down here. Um, so that's going to be pretty. Looks like it's in the ducks of the, or the <laughs> bills of the ducks. A um, little bit in the house. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my cat in the background. She has realized she's trapped in my office space. And I'm not going to let her out, so she's just going to have to deal with it while I record. So you might hear her meowing. And you can see there's some ones up here, so that's really pretty. And then the other one is the twos. And you can kind of see the two sprinkled throughout. There's some on the geese here. Let's see, where else do I see twos? Hmm, tricky, tricky. Definitely over here on the geese. It does not look like there's a lot of twos here. In the flowers right here, in the water a little bit. But other than that, there's not a lot of twos. So looks like most of your ABs are gonna be on the lower half, which would make sense because of the flowers and the water shimmering. Um, one thing I do like about a Diamond Art Club canvas is that if you look at it, it does shimmer. It's like they've got glitter right into the canvas, so it's very pretty. Um, it's just a really good quality canvas. It's very soft. You have to be kind of careful to make sure you don't get dirt on the back of this. Um, I know with my canvases, they're so large, I keep them in one place, which is my office space upstairs that kind of acts as my craft room as well. Um, and so now I wanna go ahead and look at the drills. All right, so I'm gonna set this out of the way and let's open these drills. So, sorry, I'll try to make this quick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot this down and zoom in so we can Focus in on this area. Oops. Thank you. Alrighty. So we're going to take a look at these. And so Diamond Art Club does not put their drills in order from DMC numbers like some of the other companies or by the order of the key. They put them in order by the uh, by weight. So the fuller bags come first than the smaller bags, okay? So we've got some really pretty tan colors. So we've got 3772, 3864, two bags of this green, 937. If I had to guess, it's probably up in the trees. Ooh, this is a really, really pretty red, 498. 
we've got two bags of this. It's kind of like a mauve color. It's a brownish purple almost. So it's 3860. Two bags of 935. A bag of 951. Lots of duplicate bags. There's just a lot of drills. 890, 3823, two bags of 6.48, so that's a pretty beige color. Two bags of 7.39, two bags of 6.34, two bags of 3.371, so that's a really dark brown color. I have a hard time with this color next to 310s because it looks black to me. So I have to be really careful when I place those. All right, going on our next strand here. We've got 3033 412 or 414, excuse me. Two bags of 3346, 3321, 814, 3064, 739, 989, 900. That's like a pretty red color. 938 is a brown. 758, it's like a salmon color, almost it's like a pink, pretty pink. Really like the pinks. Um, 327, which is a pretty purple. 642, 3347, 833, 415. Lots of grays on this one. 317, 310. Wow, that is such a tiny bag of 310s. Um, my current Chuck Pinson that I'm working on, that's a canvas by Dreamer Designs, it actually has no 310s in it. So um, just very few 310s. So if you're not a big fan of 310s, this is the kit for you because there's not a lot of them. 947, this is like a really like bright orangey color. It's almost like neon, um, very vibrant. So that's pretty. All right, we're getting to our smaller bags. Oh, wait, there's a big bag that kind of escaped over here. Small strands. So we've got 318, 754, 3861. So very, one thing I can say that I'm liking about this kit so far is that there's a lot of toned down colors, but there's also a lot of really pretty vibrant colors. So there's a really nice contrast between vibrant colors and more calm down muted colors. So I think this is gonna be really pretty with nice splashes of color. So this is our AB. We've got 132. It's an orange AB that is really pretty. And if you don't know what an AB is, an AB diamond stands for Aurora Borealis, kind of like the Northern Lights. It's just got this extra coating on it that makes it sparkle just a little bit more. Then we have another tan color, another orange, so 738, 740, 413, 666, 742, 3799, such pretty colors, 435, 3837, ooh, we're getting into tinier bags now, 336, I am so sorry about my cat, <laughs> 436, 312, 823, 3348, 550, 208. Next AB, 141. It's a pretty common color you see in canvases, the white one. It's pretty. Then these ones are our last few drills. So we've got 939, 209, and 606. I always get really nervous when I get these really tiny bags with such few drills because I always worry I'm going to run out, but I never have. Um, Diamond Art Club always gives plenty of drills, more than you need. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this canvas back out just so you guys can get one more look at it before we finish. So like I said, this is a beautiful canvas. Um, Diamond Art Club, they have excellent customer service. If you ever have issues with your canvas, contact them and they will take care of it. Um, I know it can be kind of hard and challenging to get their canvases right now um, because of the epidemic, not epidemic, I'm sorry, the pandemic, um, because of the pandemic. Um, but be patient. Um, 
I see a lot of people complain on social media because they can't get the kits they want. And I get it. I understand. Um, I have a wish list on Diamond Art Club that's a mile long. Um, but what I do is I just, I buy them when they come on pre-order or I get up early and I make sure I'm right there when it is time for those new releases. I got this on a new release date. Um, one little tip, although I almost hate to share this little tip, but use PayPal or I know I have an Apple phone. I have my Apple Pay set up. And so I have my code already loaded in my cart. If I have a discount code, I add my canvases and then I use Apple Pay or PayPal real quick and I'm checked out within a minute. And so that's how I've been getting my kits. You know, I make sure I have my information, I have it ready to go. Um, and so if you're having trouble getting those new releases, maybe look into something like that. One other thing that you can do, and I actually have my iPad over here. Let's see. Um, oh, my cat is just not gonna let it go. She's just not gonna stop crying until I let her out. So I'm just closing a few tabs so we can just focus on the one. I've been looking at a lot of Diamond Art Club. Um, so hopefully you guys can see this okay, but this is a Diamond Art Club website. And so if you go down at the bottom, there is, hold on, <laughs> you guys don't need to see my personal email. Um, I will be editing that out if it did show up. You just enter your email address in here when something comes back in stock and you're able to get a notification and just make sure you jump on the website pretty quick. I will say their stuff has been lasting longer than it usually does lately um, just because um, they're getting more stock and things are starting to normalize a little bit more. Um, so just be patient. Um, and if you can't get the one that you really want, sign up for the stock alert and then hopefully you can get it when it comes back in stock. So um, I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to let me know. Um, sorry, my cat. Oh, she's cute, but she is being very loud right now. Um, so anyways, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.